When your app has editable elements that allow users to enter text, each editable element should have a descriptive label to state its purpose. Edit text views should use the hint attribute to suggest an example valid input for the user. In this example, we see an edit text without a hint attribute defined. Using an accessibility service such as TalkBack to navigate to the edit text field, we see that TalkBack simply announces the field as edit box. This provides no context for the user as to how they should interact with this element. Now let's add a hint attribute for the edit text field to specify that the user should enter a password in this field. Using TalkBack to navigate to the element again, we see that TalkBack now announces the element as password edit box. It is also common for an edit text to have a corresponding text view that describes what the user should enter in the edit text element. Let's take a look at an example of this in a task tracker app. Here, we are looking at the screen where users can enter new tasks. There are two separate fields where the user can enter a title and a description for the task. The title text view is a good indicator for what the user should input in the line below it. So instead of providing a hint for the edit text field, you can indicate this relationship by setting the text view's label for attribute. Using TalkBack to navigate to the elements, we see that TalkBack first announces the title element and then announces the edit text below it as edit box for title. This allows the user to better understand what to input for the edit text field. In summary, be sure to provide a hint for edit text elements. And when one element describes the intent of another, use the label for attribute to indicate their relationship. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tips on how to make your Android app more accessible for all users.